ladies and dick heads. It's a beautiful morning. I think I'll go outside for a while. Woo! We just had a a nice long day and night of rain yesterday, so uh the sky is more clear than a glass fish's asshole, so I'm uh, mighty excited about that. But the other thing is that it's fucking cold. It's like in the 50s out here, which is like fucking Articuno busting a blizzard up your G-hole. So, uh, you know, I have the uh, the appropriate jacket and I got me a little, a little neck fleece action going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucking ch chilly as shit. It's fucking freezing like a motherfucker. And I don't know why there's a slick top PD sitting there with the lights on. Man, it's been a little like week since I uploaded. Apologize, I was at that little uh, little time where I needed a little hiatus. YouTube's been a little dicky lately. And when I say dicky, I mean dicky. And also, I've been playing fucking Red Dead Redemption 2. And as you'd expect with the online, you boot up online, you go to a tavern, and you just hear people saying, I reckon you want to fuck my wife. And then fucking punching each other and having bar fights and shootouts and I can't lie, Red Dead <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 is gonna be quite the masterpiece for uh, I'd say for quite a little while, even ahead of now. Auto title loans. Do you like do people who do that really bring their actual title into a place and get money? Is that how that works? I've never even seen that work. Who would want to do something like that? I would love to know how much money those places make, especially in a neighborhood like this. Can you imagine how many motherfuckers like that are so desperate for money or need money so bad or just like that's like their desperation clause for the few bucks to get them going through the month? No, there's a little puppy trying to cross. Pups, no. No. Look both ways. What's up guy? I'm a brother like you. I'm a motor brother, man. I literally can feel the goosebumps that's on my thighs right now. Damn, that building is fucking tore up. Yo, the city's just sad. This area just spawns depression. The big old like ghetto San Bernardino courthouse. And just look at that one. It's gonna be a hundred years old come fucking 2026. And it's still, it's probably still gonna be functioning. San Bernardino Justice Center. Do they have literally like a fucking drive-through window that you could pay your tickets at? That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Damn, I visited Arson a few days ago. We went to a uh, buddy Drew and Red's house. It was Drew's birthday. Happy birthday, by the way, Drew. If you're fucking somehow watching this shit, and uh, me and your boy dominated on all kinds of beer pong. It felt like a flashback from the past, man. We we're straight busting those. Thump, those little fucking the ones that sound like uh, those little fucking swishes into the liquid that sound like a midget jumping in a pool. I'm sure that truck's good for the environment. Damn, I'm fucking getting high off that Caltrain supply over there. That fucking truck's fuming like a bitch. Better make your turn. Hey, I'm gonna suck your <laughs> I forgot I got that fucking new chain on my bike. I need to adjust that bitch. Damn, they took all the money to make this part look nice just because the freeway's right there. Then when they actually get off the freeway to check the business out, they're like, oh, what the fuck is this pile of shit? Let's have us a little exhaust music. I think that was a driveway, wasn't it? Damn, it's bright after being in there. Like, I'm fucking blind. Like, I'm legit blind right now. Nice view up here, though, eh? Hey. Wonder what's over here. Bunch of solar panels. It'd be so cool to have, like, a fucking paintball fight in one of these because of all the pillars and shit. <laughs> Just a big-ass open paintball arena full of cover. That'd be so fun. Then it'd be artistic. You know, it'd look nice. It'd just be a bunch of fucking ropey splatters of colorful artness all around you. I wouldn't mind seeing that, wouldn't you? Nice to check you, talk, fucker! See if there's anything going on at Chaparral. 
like any overpriced sales or something. And you know what boned me out? Remember how I was talking about the FZ07? Well, I was finding places that were selling them new, or yeah, new cheaper than what they were selling them used here for. So it's like, I think I just gotta take this place out of the equation. Just because they're local, I guess it's nothing special. But they're so expensive, man. Like, I, I shit you not, I've never seen them be more cheaper than anyone else. Holy shit, I thought that was sub D for a second. Yo, you know what I was thinking about the other day? How cool it would be to, like, you ever seen the show Bay Car where they set up, like, some rate car? And they control, like, I think the locks and there's cameras all over it and they can shut the car down, whatever, remotely for cops? I was thinking of a bait motorcycle, but with a sharp metal dildo that sh that goes right up their asshole at the press of a button at the exact same time that it kills the engine. So that basically, and then maybe put a little bit of pressure to the front brakes so that, oh my god, that fucking, I just saw a train in this. <laughs> Does that stop? So at the exact same time as a little bit of front brake goes up and it goes up their asshole and them springing up from like the pressure of their ass, they would literally fly forward off the motorcycle and that would probably be like the most beautiful content that you would ever see happen in your life. I don't know the technicalities or how hard it would be to hide a uh, spring loaded sharp metal cylindrical ass piercing device onto a motorcycle or a bait motorcycle for that matter but i would be more than happy to sit back with a heineken and watch the videos of uh taking place yo i'm a legit cold as fuck let me see if i can show you my goose cunts look at that goose cunts you can hear the quacks hypo investment bank the fuck is that i always drive through here in hopes to see like somebody accidentally opened it and I'm like, oh, it's open, huh? And I could ride my Grom through it. That would just be the coolest fucking dopest shit. And there used to be a fucking Lamborghini that always parked like right out here. I wonder who owned that. This looks like a dope Insta a fucking twat. <laughs> Wee! I call this piece ghetto art. See, we got the abstract old architecture behind the modern technology of a baby dick motorcycle and they blend together so well so you see the the modern technologies of the modern motorcycle just engulfed by the ghettoness that is a fucking broke down fucking just shut down complete utter destruction of them all isn't it beautiful isn't it a beautiful sight all right my sex juice lights on and that means that i gotta get some sex juice just in case you guys didn't know. Damn, homeboy's fucking straight carrying around the Mark McGuire Louisville Slugger over there. He ain't even trying to take walks without a bat in his hand. Oh, look, there's an ambulance there in case I break my dickhead. Man, I've been watching a lot of, like... I like watching cringe compilations of various topics and things and uh, lately what's topped the charts for me is them uh, TikTok cringe compilations. If you guys haven't seen those, like, I think they might take the cake of like v the most variety within one subject of cringe. It's so like, uh, I catch myself turning those videos off halfway through a lot of the times. Does anybody know why that Sandals Church is so popular? Like, I feel like that's such an over-marketed church. I see stickers and banners and, like, people skydiving out of the sky with halos coming out of their asses and with, like, Sandals Church being spilt out of the sky. Oh, I can only imagine how nasty that motel is. Imagine sticking, imagine staying in one of those motels out here, those grody ass fucking small ones, <laughs> and then you try to lift up your sheets to go to bed, and it just looks like fucking Elmer's glue in between the sheets and the blankets. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, look where we're at guys, look where we at, we at the last drop liquor in San Bernardino. I think I need to give me a pro club or something in here. 
Look at this, guys. We got pro clubs, Jesus candles, knockoff Hennessy, 99 cent Arizonas, Lime Lucas, all the fixings that you may need out here in San Bernardino at the Last Drop Liquor Store. Once again, out here in San Bernardino. Welcome to the Last Drop Liquor Store located in San Bernardino on the corner of 21st and East Street. You can get anything from the Last Drop Liquor Store from cigarettes, beer, wine, liquor, pro club t-shirts. Just ask for Mike and he'll show you around. So come on down to the last drop in San Bernardino like everybody else and come and shop and get your money's worth. Damn, got the glasses with the tag still on them. Damn, I gotta get me some of those. Hey bro, is this the uh, last drop liquor store in San Bernardino? Is this the uh, last drop liquor yeah. in San Bernardino? I just had to verify that we were indeed in the last drop liquor in San Bernardino. Who do you think would win, guys, between this Grom and that Camaro with, uh, with a head start from my end by 10 feet? I'd have to go, uh, Grom. Look at this thing. Look how slow this thing is. Look. Look, my Grom's just putting along. Look at it. And this thing's so slow. Look. My Grom. My Grom's just, like, wanting to pass this thing so hard right now, but... But this thing's just so fucking slow. Look at this. Look at this. Look how slow this fucking car is, dude. Look at this. Look, I can't... I can't fathom how fucking slow this car is right now. We got the ME224. I always see this fire engine in like the local uh, the local calls around here. Nice bike, shit, Man, I used to run up and down this so much when I was a kid. This was like the little fucking like tag area. And then we'd set up fucking gay ass little hockey things right here and then play hockey in this parking lot. I need to get me a hockey stick and just start fucking smacking shit with it, Happy Gilmore style. Well guys, that's gonna conclude this little boring ass video. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cold ass back inside where it's nice and warm. Well, all links will be down below. Um, I Twitch quite often, so if you wanna follow me on Twitch and see me more often there live and chat with your boy, go ahead and hit that up. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck at that like button. You guys have a real good day. I'll see you guys later.